Hawaiian Islands are a chain of 19 islands and atolls in the Pacific Ocean, extending over 2,500 kilometers from the Big Island of Hawaii to tiny Kure Atoll. 3,000 kilometers from the nearest continent, they are the most isolated island cluster on the planet. Each of these islands is the top of an active or extinct volcano, or is merely a coral atoll built on top of an extinct volcano. Coral atolls are features made possible when a volcano begins to grow on oceanic crust. The volcano may grow tall enough to rise out of the ocean and form an island. Around that island, if the water is warm enough, corals grow in the shallow water, forming a fringing reef. Eventually, the volcano goes extinct and begins to erode. Due to isostasy, the lithosphere slowly sags, causing the eroding volcano to sink. The coral reef, though, grows upward and expands, so even if the volcano disappears beneath the waves, a coral atoll may be left behind. The Hawaiian Islands owe their existence to a feature called a hotspot. The term hotspot generally means an area marked by abundant magmatic activity, like Hawaii or Yellowstone. It was long thought that a hot stream of material, possibly originating at the Earth's core, streamed up through the mantle to the lithosphere, triggering volcanism. It was also thought that hot spots provided fixed reference points, with the lithosphere simply moving over the top. It now appears that hot spots need not be perfectly fixed, and they're probably not fed from below. Instead, they're thought to be volumes of mantle where abundant melting occurs producing magma that rises through the lithosphere and produces magmatic activity in and on the crust. This leaves a trail of progressively older volcanoes leading away from the volcanically active region. Because of the old picture of what a hotspot was thought to be, some scientists now prefer the terms melting anomaly or even wet spot. The Hawaiian hotspot has existed for at least 80 million years, leaving in its wake a long string of islands and submerged volcanoes called seamounts, extending all the way to the Aleutian Trench. Today, volcanism extends from Haleakala Volcano on Maui, across the Big Island, to an undersea volcano named Luihi. This volcano is still about a thousand meters beneath the surface and not likely to become the next Hawaiian island for another 200,000 years or so. That hasn't stopped one company, tongue firmly planted in cheek, from already offering for sale parcels of Loihi coastline. The active and visible volcanism is on the Big Island, which is not, as many believe, simply one enormous volcano. This is the island of Hawaii, and it's the largest of the Hawaiian islands. The first thing to understand about it geologically is that it's not just one giant volcano. It's actually a complex of five separate volcanoes. Kohala Volcano in the north last erupted 60,000 years ago, so it's an extinct volcano, while Hualali Volcano last erupted in 1801, so it's definitely still an active volcano. And that leaves the three heavy hitters of Hawaii, Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, and Kilauea. Mauna Kea Volcano, the peak behind me in the distance last erupted about 3,500 years ago, so it's classified as a dormant volcano and it's thought it's likely to erupt again in the future. Mauna Loa Volcano, the very broad volcano whose top is currently caught in the clouds there, last erupted in 1984. So although it's been quiet for a couple of decades, it's fundamentally a very active and prolific volcano. Both of these volcanoes rise over 4,000 meters above sea level, but if you consider the base of the volcano down on the oceanic crust, these two are easily the highest two mountains on Earth, Mauna Kea number one and Mauna Loa number two. Now, although Mauna Kea is slightly higher, Mauna Loa is a much bigger volcano. It's something like 150 kilometers across at the base, and it's been said that its total volume is more than twice that of the entire Appalachian mountain chain. Because the Pacific Plate moves about 10 centimeters per year, each area will remain over the hotspot for about a million years. 
This means that the Hawaiian Islands to the northwest are progressively older. Midway Island of World War II fame formed 50 million years before these brand new lava flows on the Big Island. The Hawaiian volcanoes go through several stages in their evolution. They go through a marine stage where they build up until they reach the surface, and this includes the formation of pillow lavas like these. When they reach the surface, they form shield volcanoes with thin sheets of fluid, olivine-rich basalt. At the third stage, the volcano collapses at the summit, forming a caldera. Lava may pond in craters and calderas, and linear fractures, called rifts, extend out from the calderas, like here near Kilauea. At the fourth stage, lava fills in the calderas and rifts. The lava becomes more silica-rich, and the volcano's flanks become steeper and covered with small cinder cones and other extrusions. Eventually, the volcano becomes dormant, and then extinct, and disappears beneath the waves, perhaps leaving behind an atoll to mark the spot.